was a child walking with giants a hundred feet tall. But that just brings back memories of like literally just going out there playing in the mud or just playing outside with your brothers or your friends in the neighborhood. Just going out there playing football, having fun, sliding around in the mud and just having fun. When it be raining like that, you go out there and have fun, uh, splashing the mud a little bit and everything. So to do that on a college, on a collegiate level, it's really fun and um, it was definitely a great opportunity. I think it's just the way we prepare and practice. Um, you know, we take our job seriously and um, we just try to find a way to win the game and go out there and execute. Uh, we don't want to come out and be flat out there on the field. We know that puts a lot of pressure on the defense, so we got to go out there and put up some points, at, whether it's a field goal or, or a touchdown. How about a round of applause for our seniors? Yeah. Those of you that are not seniors that'll be back, I'm gonna remind you why we do things the way we do things, okay, in the off season is for games like that. <laughs> okay, defense, fantastic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Couldn't be happier for you. You know, not only myself, but we work hard to make sure that every game is approached the same. No matter if there's a full house or if there's barely anybody in there, we want to approach every opponent like it's the same game. I mean, the one thing that's always on my mind is just make sure that we you know, forget about the last game, whether we won it or we lost it, and just put our all into this next opponent to prepare and to win the game. And I think that's what's important. I think we did that last week, and I think that's going to be the most important thing moving forward. In five days, we got those guys coming to our place on national television. And the last time we played on national television, we didn't look very good. We took penalties and fumbled the ball over the place. So we're going to go change that perception right now. Tonight, it's a Thursday night tradition like no other as the Hokies welcome the Hurricanes to a raucous Lane Stadium in Blacksburg. Walking all the way up in here in our barks and everything, just us getting ready, getting hyped to go play in, a, in an amazing game with Hokie Nation just out there. Like, it was, it was amazing pretty much. A sea of Hokie Nation members clad in maroon as the Hokies just about set to hear the strains of Enter Sandman. It was loud as ever. I think that made a, might have been the loudest game I ever played in. Like the first opening drive when we were on defense, we couldn't hear any checks. We just had to do our hand signals pretty much, and it was it was amazing out there. I mean, it's exciting. Um, nothing like playing on a Thursday night in front of 67,000. So I mean, um, it was really exciting. The fans were loud. It was extremely loud in there. Um, so I know that made it tough for Miami. Let's go ahead and dominate this thing. Let's go. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate.
Yeah, we know that, um, you know, it's just a reward for the, the work that you've been doing and for you to be able to see the fruits of your benefits is just a great thing. Hopefully it'll, it'll carry over this week. Yeah, you think about being out two senior starters on the defensive line and, and the job that Woody did. We needed him to play big, uh, and he certainly answered the call. Uh, the guys that filled in for, for, uh, for Kenny and Nige uh, did a really, really good job as well. Obviously, we were able to create some pressure and, and get us a nice win. Woody Barron's playing dynamic. You know, right now, Woody is, is one of our best football players, and he's playing that way. You know, I think the young guys look to us so often. And um, with Nigel and Kane going down, I thought it was, you know, it didn't need to be said that I would have to step up because the young guys still have their eye on me.